Plus, I'm going to tell you about Mr. Isaac Mutson. He was born on uh, December 25 in the 1642 uh, in Lincolnshire, in England. He was raised by his grandparents and he was pulled out of school at 17 years old to run the family farm. But because he wasn't good on farming, they sent him back to school. Uh, he started well, He started developing calculus at the early uh, 66, uh, 1666, when he was 24. But he didn't publish uh, a lot of stuff because he was shy, basically. He didn't publish a lot of calculus work. Or his first optical research was about the Newtonian reflector. And what he did, right over here, basically, he made the first telescope that used carried mirror, over here, instead of lenses. So you could see, over here, uh, to see the symbol. The second one, was the rainbow colors. What he did, that's his window. He let, it was a hole on the screen, whatever, and he let, he saw that a white color that is passing from the window, and it goes through a prism, it's coming out to be, it's coming out, so you understand. <coughs> so the color, the rainbow color. Which one were the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink? Uh, that was a triangle, triangle of glass that he used. But he wasn't sure that this is the reason that he, like the prism gives color to the white light. So what he did, he put another screen over here, and he let only one color to go through, let's say the red, and went through a prism. And he, he saw that if only one color goes through the prism, it's coming up to be the same color, doesn't change. So uh, he concluded that the prism is not a color to, to the white light, but actually separated white light into its constituent colors. Yeah. All right. The apple. Everybody relates apple with Newton. Uh, the old story. Newton was inspired to formulate his theory of gravitation by watching a, the fall of an apple from a tree. Uh, gravity is a natural phenomenon by which physical bodies attract with the force proportion to their masses. We learned, all right? So, um, and it's the agent that gives way to objects with mass and cause them to fall to the ground, as we learned. Uh, and we are over here. Isaac Newton developed half of his research effort to experience uh, and theories of alchemy. He did that too. Whose objectives were to uh, transmute base metal into gold, uh, trying to find the universe solvent. It was a basic theory that if you mix some metals or you melt them quickly, faster, they change their they, uh, they change their temperature and they can uh, get something, you know, make some gold. That was the basic theory. And the last one, Newton. Uh, it's not the other one. Newton's first law, we, we learned that if it's a, uh, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. 
and I want to do an experiment over here. Can somebody, I want to volunteer and send? Can you come over here? I was going to throw a ball, but a balloon, with a balloon, you're going to see slower motion. All right. I want you to throw the balloon upwards. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. See the balloon goes up, gets on a point, the maximum point, that is gravitational force is pushing down, and has zero speed. And then it goes, you see? Right. Goes up in the maximum point, the gravitational force is always pushing it down. Thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one. And, and I want to show you one example too that I I learned and I didn't know. In the box, when uh, two boxes are fighting, and the other guy hit gets like punch, he rolls with the with the punch. It's an expression, roll with the punch. What he did, he rolls, so the direction of his head goes with, with the force, so the reaction is gonna be less. So he gets like less hit. Roll with the punch. And that's it basically. Thank you so much. I hope I Thank you.